Hey, what's up, guys? So, in this tutorial, we're going to go over uh, yield, wait for seconds, which is really easy to do in JavaScript. It's just a quick one line of code. And the C sharp, it's a little bit, a little bit more work, but um, it's not too bad. Uh, it often hung me up quite a bit when I started uh, using C sharp um, instead of JavaScript. So, it's really easy to do. It's just only one, two lines more. Uh, with the code and that's about it so let's just let's get into it so basically if you want to recap on this go back to the previous tutorial or the one before that which talks about calling functions from one script to another and accessing variables on another script using C sharp uh, so here what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have say we want to wait three seconds for something to happen which we would use in JavaScript to yield wait for seconds and then we would have our other function right here um, but done a little bit different differently C sharp so let's go so you say start coroutine and we'll say wait three seconds and then you don't use void you would you don't do this in C, uh, C sharp because it won't work when you want to um, yield instead of doing that you hit up IE numerator wait for three seconds which will be called from start coroutine wait three seconds so go from here to here and then you will yield and return new and you get your wait for seconds right there and then uh, say three for the test and then print to make sure it worked we just waited well, how about boom we just waited three whole seconds man so if I did everything correct that should work so we'll flip flop over to unity see if he says anything mean gets mad and it should work let's see and to verify boom we just waited three seconds man and that's it that's how you yield wait for seconds in C sharp it's not hard it's not hard. It was a whole two more lines of code. So you would have just done the yield wait for seconds there in Java. Two more. Actually, only one. And just remember, this is the common gotcha, the IE numerator. Don't use void. Use IE numerator. And that's it. All done. Really easy. Yield wait for seconds using C sharp and Unity. And also... Uh, check out my podcast, Unity 3D News. It's on iTunes. Uh, rate, review, and subscribe. I read you the Unity News, so you don't have to. And uh, also, um, if you have any questions in regards to this video, or suggestions, or improvements, or whatnot, uh, let me know. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. See ya.